Alright guys, welcome back. I've got another problem lined up for you guys and let's break it down. We have 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over 13. We know both x and y are positive values and we need to figure out the value of x plus y. What we're going to do in here is that we're going to multiply the equation by x times y. So we have x times y over x plus x times y over y is equal to x times y over 13. And from the first one, we can cancel out the x. And from the second expression on the left side, we can cancel out y. So we'll end up having y plus x is equal to x y over 13. Now here, we're going to multiply the equation by 13 so what we're gonna get is basically 13 times y plus x is equal to x times y so we're gonna multiply 13 to x plus y so we get 13 y plus 13 x is equal to x y and here we're gonna bring everything on the right side so all the signs will switch so we have x y minus 13 x minus 13 y is equal to 0 so if you bring each of these two on the right side, we have to switch the sign from positive to negative, which is what we have in here. So the trick that we're going to use in here to simplify this is that we're going to add 169 on each side of the equation and we're going to subtract it too. So what we're going to get is xy minus 13x minus 13y plus 169 minus 169. So this will be zero. So no change in the equation that we have in the previous step. But the reason we did that is that we're going to pair each of these two. So from the first one, we have exactly what we had in the previous step, xy minus 13x. And in the other one, if we factor negative sign, we have 13y minus 169 and we have minus 69 without any changes in here. So we're going to bring back the 169 on the right side, which will be positive. So from these two, we can see the common factor x. And in these two, since 169 is 13 times 13 we can factor 13 in the second one so from the first one if you factor x we'll have y minus 13 and in the second one we're just going to factor 13 in there and we have y minus 13 so we're going to bring the 169 on the right side so it will be positive after that and now we see the common factor y minus 13 in here so we can factor y, y minus 13 and from the first one we have x and second one we have minus 13 is equal to 169. Now we have multiplication of two different variables a times b is equal to 169 and we're going to go over all the scenarios that might happen to get this 169. So we can get 1 times 169, we can get 169 times 1 or we can have 13 times 13. So let's go with each of these. So we have three different scenarios. Let's go with the first one where our y minus 13 is equal to 1 and x minus 13 is equal to 169. So from here, we can find our y, which will be 14. And in the second one, our x is basically 169 plus 13, which will be 182. And if we want to find x plus y, which is what the question is asking. So we are interested in x plus y. So x plus y is basically 14 plus 182, which will be 196. So that's one answer for here. So the second scenario, our y minus 13 will be 169. Our x minus 13 will be 1. So y will be what we got for x in the previous one. So one will, y will be 182 and x will be 1 plus 13 or 14. So basically we get the same answer as previous step, 196. So uh, nothing new in here. And the last scenario we have y minus 13 is equal to 13 and x minus 13 also 13. So our y will be 13 times 2, 26. And we get the same value for x, 26. And here our x plus y is basically 26 times 2, which will be 52. And this is going to be the final answer for this question. 
So hope this all made sense. If you have another approach to solve this one, feel free to drop it in the comments that everybody benefits and you stay care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.